Hi sewing friends, this is Karina from Lifting Pins and Needles and today's vlog is all about the pussy bowl uh, blouse uh, hack turned into a dress. Always when I'm looking at a pattern, um, I have like a 10% inclination to make a blouse um, overpowered by 90% inclination to make a dress. <laughs> usually especially if I have enough fabric now for this specific dress I did not have enough fabric for a dress but I had more fabric um, than just to make the blouse so I, I decided initially to make a tunic top so I wanted this to hit me around mid um, mid thigh sort of thing uh, so I could wear it with a pair of leggings um, and I did cut it like that and I made that deep hemline at, at the sides shorter and longer at the middle um, I, so I was going to carry on with making a pussy bow tunic, <laughs> but then something magically happened and that is that I was doing my refashions and I, I was looking at a dress you might have seen in my week two of my refashions from June where I made a bodice that was made out of linen um, and then I attached a skirt piece made out of the same fabric uh, to that. Um, after looking at that for a whole week, I decided, no, that does not, like, I am not wearing that. <laughs> you would have seen me strip that off that bodice and um, put a black circle skirt on that blue bodice. So then I had uh, a scrap of the same fabric that was sent 50 centimeters and the whole width of the fabric. So yes, I thought this is my, my chance to make it a dress so with that 50 centimeter scrap i cut off a flounce that i added onto the bottom of the tunic so now it's a dress um what else so you've seen that little flounce in my june makes i'll just stand back so it's a straight up and down dress and then at the bottom it has that flounce that gives it a bit of swoosh and you see there is some definition here and on my back, same as well, some definition. I also did the darts here to um, get rid of the gaping in the armhole. This was supposed to have sleeves, so there is going to be gaping there. So um, have a look now at some of the footage where I show you um, show you how I'm, I'm fitting it on myself and also some um, footage of how I show you how I added in the darts at the back. So yeah, have a look at that. So I'm um, doing some fitting right now and I'll sh try to show you how I do this. Now uh, this is the pussy bow blouse so it actually has no darts or shape. Now you can see it has some sort of shape at the back before it was just, just boxy and that's because at the back I've uh, pinned on myself a back dart. Now I use theory to tell me what the distance from here to here is and that's 12 centimeters but I'm not doing that on myself I just want to make sure I'm marking the smallest part of my back there and that's what I pin that's my reference point there and then um, I'll take off the dress and then I'll mark it in theory you know I'll measure it properly then I've pinned all the way up here as well where I went the, want the dart to finish so it's quite a long dart and then I've pinned it down here as well where I want it to finish at the bottom so these are just reference pins to show me um, height basically but then I'll redraw the dart properly on the dress when I take it off. Now because this is supposed to have sleeves, um, I don't want the sleeves right? <laughs> so I don't, want, I don't want my sleeveless dress to hang off like this so I'm going to mark it right there where I want it. I'll put a pin there and the other thing there's some gaping here a little bit. And it's because it's supposed to have a sleeve, so of course it's going to be a little bit of gaping. So once I trim this off, I'm going to trim this off to the to the length I want it, and then I'll have to close it here a little bit as well. Um, bring it in, pin it on myself. Um, then I might need to do a little a little dart here on the arm uh, hole, and that's not that terrible because this print won't allow anyone to see that dart, and it's just a fitting fitting that it's not like a you know no one's gonna see it but that's basically how I fit on myself um, it's still gonna be nice and loose but with a little bit of shape towards the back um, and at the front little bit of waist shaping here as well so I like how that's um, working there so I don't know if you can see that chalk mark I mark the chalk line there to where I really want my arm to be uh, as a sleeveless dress 
so and I've done the same at the back but you can't see <laughs> anyway I'm gonna go ahead take it off and then straighten this tidy it up you know make it nice and proper and then I'm gonna cut that off and use that as a guide to mark it on the other side so that they're both the same um, I've also pinned on myself there I've brought it in at like two centimeters there uh, and I'll do the same on the other side after pinning the darts onto myself, now I'm going to apply the theory of the darts. I just wanted to pin them to mark the height of the darts or how long I wanted them to be. So this is where I mark, this is the top, the neck piece. This is where I want the top to be and that is where I want the bottom. So it's quite a long dart. So basically the more loose the garment, the longer the dart, the more tight fitting, the shorter the dart. That, that's how I see it. And here's the line where the height of the smallest of my back. So now from the from the seam there, the middle, I've measured 12 centimeters to there. From here as well, 12 centimeters. And the same at the bottom. So that's going to be the tip there, the tip there. And here in the middle, you can see some chalk marks and some even... I use pen for, for things like this. <laughs> There's the middle. I want quite a quite a, a, a wide dart, so I'm doing two centimeters there, two centimeters there. So from that little line, I will make the line all the way to the tip there, like that, and I'll put tracing paper underneath this, so I get the mark on top here and on the bottom. If you hear water, it's because the washing machine is washing right behind me. Anyway, here is my point there. Here's the other side of the dart, and I have my ruler lined up to the tip over there. So I'm just going to do some drawing, and then I'll show you how it looks. Here is the widest part of my dart, and that is at the height of the smallest part of my back. And that tapers off all the way to the tip up there, and tapers down all the way to down there. So this is quite a long dart. Let me measure it. Um, <laughs> this dart measures 45 centimeters <laughs> Usually like when you have tighter fitting garments, maybe you'd mark from here up just maybe 12 and then 12 or 15 down But because this dress is so loose and flowy, I just made bigger darts and it'll look fine So I've done my darts at the back and you can see it shapes the back my smaller my back really nicely and here I've gone ahead and pinned a little dart there. Um, the gaping's not that bad. I mean, it's not huge, but it is there. So I'm going to mark this one here with pen. You know, I'm going to mark what I've just pinned on and then replicate it to the next side. And then I'd be sort of finished with the fitting here. Cool, so you've seen how I got it to fit me the way I wanted it to fit. Um, and now I'm going to turn the dress inside out, hang it on a wall so you can see the details uh, from the inside. Here is the inside out of my pussy bow dress. Here at the top you can see how I finished my armholes with a uh, side and bias tape that is hand stitched on. I did do a seam line in the middle and I just kept the selvage there of the uh, viscose so I didn't need to overlock that. <laughs> and here you can see that really long dart there. It's mega long, like from here to there and you saw you saw me fitting it on myself in front of the mirror so that's how it turned out um really gives good shaping to the back and the waist now for the flounce when i initially cut this out i was going to make a tunic length and i wanted that like um deep hemline see so it's shorter here on the side and it swoops down to the middle and then goes up to the other side so then when I decided to make a dress, because I always do that, change my mind, <laughs> I added on a flounce, and when I cut the flounce, I cut the side part of the flounce longer, and the middle part shorter, so that when you look at it, the, the hemline is even. There it looks crooked because of the way it's hanging from that coat hanger. <laughs> but when I wear it, it's actually even. Um, here you can see how I finished the hem, some bias tape that I hand stitched on, and I did do that because it's a flounce that's cut on the bias and that just gives it a nice finish. So I'll turn it around. Here is the front of the dress inside out. Here you can see for that little loop keyhole thing I did there, I did a facing 
there and then that's attached well, the, the, the bowls are like in there <laughs> I'll take them out the bowls are so long but I love it look at the bowls almost reach the bottom of the dress um, so that's how I finished off that part there I'm not sure if that is that was how the instructions said I don't know but that's how I did it um, the same here at the front you can see that the flounce here on the side is longer and then it's shorter in the middle and it's attached to that curve there and although this wasn't planned it was like the happiest happiest uh, on the go decision I made because I love how it turned out cool so I hope you like seeing my dress how it looks on the inside you saw that that was mega long and it's because the dress is very flowy you know the flowier the dress, the longer the darts, you know, if I had a really fitted dress, like if I wanted this to be very fitted to me, I would have taken in at the side seams and the, the darts would definitely be smaller. But because it's loose, it's quite a long dart to give it some shape and still keep it loose looking. Uh, so that's my take on how I do darts. <laughs> They're not always the same. Um, I love this dress. I will make it again. I even have the fabric chosen um and i'm gonna make it this month just to keep that motivation going um i don't know if you've noticed by now that i'm a triplets kind of person i make patterns three times usually in a short period of time with different fabric i just like that i like having three things different options different fabrics but in a in a pattern and a shape that i love and i know suits me so i don't know if i'm crazy i don't know if you do something similar <laughs> But um, yeah, I will make multiples of most of the things that I make. Um, anyway, um, that is it. Uh, tomorrow is Thursday and um, I have many, many videos lined up. I'm just figuring out in what order I am going to show you them. But just be sure that there is plenty more <laughs> coming. Have fun sewing. Bye. Mm -hmm.